بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم our case today is the 36 weeks gestation infant has mild respiratory distress at birth he requires 30% oxygen and there is mild recession as symptoms persist and x-ray is performed at 6 hour of age so this patient is preterm, late preterm, 36 weeks, presented at birth with respiratory distress. You put oxygen, he requires only 30% of oxygen, and the symptom is persist, uh, and the symptom is persist uh, up to uh, six hours of age. So this is x-ray done for this baby because the baby is symptomatic. So this is the x-ray, if you see here the x-ray, if you see here the x-ray, as we see the green line, this is the NGT in situ, NGT in situ, NGT in situ, you see NGT in situ. If you come here, this is the costophrenic angle in the right side, this is the right side costophrenic angle, loss of costophrenic angle, so I cannot visualize it. I cannot appreciate it. I cannot see the costophrenic angle is obliterated, obliterated or loss of costophrenic angle. Uh, and there is actually increased shadowing in the peripheral area in the lower part in the uh, hemothorax or the lung. So loss of costophrenic angle or uh, not visualized costophrenic angle indicate what? Indicate pleural effusion. This is case of pleural effusion. So uh, our quiz here, what does X-ray show? And uh, if there is the only problem with this baby, what is the most likely the diagnosis? If the baby is asymptomatic, what should you do? If the baby symptomatic, what would you consider? What other investigation would be uh, oriented? So, what does the X-ray show? As we see, see before, if you see here, this is a nasogastric uh, tube, as you see in situ. And also, there is loss of the costophrenic angle, indicate this is pleural uh, fusion. In the right side, and increased shadowing in the lower peripheral right uh, chest. This is the answer of the first questions. What is the, What does the X-ray show? It shows loss of costophrenic angle on the right side and increase shadowing in the lower peripheral right uh, chest. So uh, if this is the only problem with the baby, what is the most likely diagnosis? We see lo uh, loss of the costophrenic angle indicate what? Indicate uh, pleural effusion, right? Pleural effusion. So what is the causes of pleural effusion? can occur for many reasons so what is the causes either isolated or associated isolated or associated associated this means diagnosed antenatally associated will be 3c chromosomal abnormalities congenital abnormalities congenital viral infection also can cause effusion if the associated it will be chromosomal congenital abnormalities or congenital infection and should be diagnosed antenatally because the baby will present immediately after birth and the symptom can wears uh, at six hour of age as this patient our case now if isolated only two reasons idiopathic uh, pleural effusion or chylothorax if actually if isolated not associated the baby is not dysmorphic and you know viral infections and no other abnormalities that can be detected so this is isolated right pleural effusion only two causes for isolated uh, right pleural effusion idiopathic or chylothorax so the third question actually if the baby is asymptomatic what should you do any patient asymptomatic don't do anything just observe no other concert is appropriate to simply observe this patient patient asymptomatic observe only just observe observe the baby clinically or biochemically or radiologically but at least observe him clinically if the symptoms is persist or the respiratory stress is in uh, uh, words or uh, impending respiratory failure or the baby oxygen requirement is increased or he need respiratory support at the time you have to interfere type uh, this patient asymptomatic so i will observe this patient conservative management observation only but if there is asymptomatic and the cause of effusion or pleural effusion 
uh, isolated either idiopathic or chylothorax. Idiopathic effusion it will resolve spontaneously. While chylothorax may increase once the feeding is commenced. Once you start the feed, the chylothorax it will be increased and started to show up. And the careful observation for this patient and the repeat X-ray are essential if this case of chylothorax. So this patient asymptomatic, I will observe him, but put in your mind, this is isolated, so either idiopathic or chylothorax. Idiopathic, it will resolve spontaneously. If chylothorax, once you start the feed, it will increase actually once the feeding is commenced or started, and I have to carefully observe this patient, and I have to repeat the X-ray are essential looking for the chylothorax. The fourth question for this patient, the patient was asymptomatic. Now the patient is asymptomatic. What would you uh, you consider if the patient symptomatic now start to be having respiratory distress, respiratory failure, oxygen requirement is increased, so this patient may need respiratory support and I have to drain the effusion. So once the patient is started to be symptomatic, you have to drain respiratory support, oxygenation and ventilation support, and you have to drain the infusion immediately. The third question and the last question for this case and this quiz, a quiz what other investigation would be warranted? First of all, depend on the condition of the baby and depend on the fluid. Depend on the condition of the baby, will or unwill. Depend on the fluid has been drained. Shall you drain this fluid or still you didn't drain this fluid uh, from this baby? If Depend on the condition. So the patient asymptomatic, baby baseline hematological and biochemical may be indicated and little else if the baby asymptomatic just take baseline investigation just take hematological or biochemical is call it electrolytes and uh, cbc or fbc you have to take it if the baby unwell start to be asymptomatic and unwell at that time you have to take the viral uh, tetris and may be indicated and also you have to take the chromosomal analysis because it will be associated either con chromosomal congenital infections and congenital abnormalities since the patient are unwell at this mean the associated uh, abnormalities or the reason of the uh, pleural effusion it will be chromosomal congenital abnormalities congenital infection for congenital infections i have to take the viral uh, tetra if the, there is abnormalities i have to take the imaging uh, study if chromosomal i have to take the karyotyping if pleural effusion pleural fluid is drained so if this patient uh, uh, is symptomatic and i have to take the drain so this fluid should be sent for a, B, C. A for analysis, for biochemical and cytological and culture or microbiological analysis. If this analysis high lymphocyte count, indicate chylosorx. Indicate chylosorx. So the indication, so the investigation, I would like to do it for this pleural effusion, depend on two conditions. Depend on the patient uh, uh, general condition, will or Unwell, symptomatic or asymptomatic, or oh, and depend on the fluid. Did you drain the fluid or you didn't drain the fluid? So the patient asymptomatic just will take baseline investigation, hematological and electrolytes, the CBC and uh, electrolytes. If the patient unwell, so this is mean associated. I have to look for the congenital uh, infection, chromosomal abnormalities or uh, uh, congenital abnormalities, and I will take it based on this one. Congenital infection, I will take viral studies. If there is a chromosome, I will take karyotyping. If I if already I drain this fluid because the patient was symptomatic, I have to send for analysis and biochemical and cytological and culture and microbiological. Uh, if there is high lymphocyte, indicate chylo. Uh, sorax. This is our case today. This is plural uh, effusions, and you have to know the causes and how to deal with this patient based on the general condition and based on the fluid you drain it from the plural effusion. As Allah Rabb al Arshal Azim and Yenagah Zumalana, Gamian il Dahlin, Imtahanat il Bord, Il Arabi, Saudi, Wil Jordanian, Uhuna il Dahlin il Fellowship. Shukran, Salamu Alikum.